I was taking apart this retardedly cheap DVD player, and uh, um, halfway through, of basically just salvaging it for parts, buttons, and motors, and wires, and switches, what have you. Um, I just decided to turn it into a power supply since it's got this really neat chip that's got a uh, a plus five and twelve and a minus twelve voltage on it. So. Um, I decided to actually throw those components back into the case and I'm going to use this case as the power supply itself so we'll see how that turns out okay and this is my DVD player power supply basically gutted except for the chip the power supply chip that's on the inside of it um, I went ahead and ran the wires out to this um, this is a little backwards because I put it together, turned around, and upside down. So don't laugh. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and power this guy up. This is a. Uh, I have it connected right now to plus five. I know it's real hard to see, especially with this like Corona that's coming out of this liner. But if I switch it over to AC, you can go ahead and take a look at the. variations here. This is, this would be the noise inside of the uh, um, power supply at 5 volts which you can see is um, approximately uh, 5 millivolts which I would think is negligible on a power supply. Um, so that's actually not a bad deal there okay so hooking up to the ground wire to the ground I have a plus 5 a plus 12 and then the ground on the negative 12 I have a I have a plus 17 and finally a plus 24 should be um, as far as amperage goes, I, there's a 2 amp fuse on the inside of it, so I don't know if that means that this I can draw 2 amps from this, but uh, if it burns up, it burns up, it doesn't matter, it was junk, it was free, so there you go.